morning, problem solved. An 81 year old widow thought things were bad enough when her apartment burned down. But months later, she was hit with a huge bill from her cable company. Could you imagine that happening? I would certainly be frustrated. She says she had nowhere to turn, so she reached out to News 3 and problem solver Aaron Miller got to work and got results. Miss Bertha told me that she got a bill from Cox for more than $600 for not returning her cable box, but she couldn't return the equipment because it burned up when her apartment caught fire. Here's what happened when we reached out to Cox. May 20th, 2021 replays in Bertha Sutton's mind. I had flashbacks. By the time I got in the living room, I felt heat on my back. And then I'm saying, oh, Lord, I got to get out of here. And I just sat there and watched it. And I was praying, don't let it all burn up. But it did. All 18 units in her apartment building. Bertha, who was 80 years old at the time and on a fixed income, lost nearly everything inside her home, including her cable box. Now in a new home, she says she didn't even remember she had a Cox cable box until she got this bill from a debt collector in the mail. 639, no, it's six, whoa, it's $655.03. I'm on a fixed income. I cannot pay for something that I don't have. So were they charging $600 for just the fact that the cable box wasn't returned? Is that what they said the charge yeah, was for? Yeah, and it was my fault. I'm responsible for it. Bertha says she tried to call Cox and explain, but says she didn't get anywhere. So she reached out to the News 3 problem solvers. We went through her past emails and documents and found this. You can dispute this debt. I also reached out to Cox directly, and that got the ball rolling. A company representative then called Bertha and worked with her to drop the charge. So we went back out to talk to Miss B. She showed us these emails she got from Cox. One was confirming that her old equipment was returned, and the other was a $64 credit. We're sorry for any issues you've had it with your service and want to make things right. So we are working on crediting your account. And while Bertha is happy with the outcome, she says it never had to get this far. Do you feel resolved? Yes, I do, thanks to Channel 3. Because I got this problem solved. I got the problem solved. I don't have to worry about that bill. So I asked Cox what options people have if their equipment is damaged or unretrievable because of a fire. They say first, try not to forget about your equipment if possible, then file the damaged equipment as part of your insurance claim, and then resolve any outstanding balance you may owe with the reimbursement from the insurance company. If you find yourself in this situation and you need to reach out to Cox directly, we'll have those details on how to do so on WTKR.com. If you have a consumer tip or a story that you want the News 3 problem solvers to look into, email me at problemsolvers at WTKR.com. Erin Miller, News 3.